All right. Okay. So I'm excited because we're going to go over um, several different things. So we're going to go over posting. We're going to go over the units in our team page for those of you guys don't know those don't know what those are. We're going to go over how to grow your network systems and organization. And then also we're going to go over the newest thing, which I'm going to be learning and involving with you guys. And that's the connect app. Okay. So that's something that I just started doing um, a little bit ago and I'm learning more about it every day. And it's something that we definitely got me to get our team um, into this because this is going to literally change our businesses. It's going to help make it where it's easier to reach a lot of people all at once. It's going to make it easier to follow up. It's going to be, you know, it's a system where it's easier to organize things. So it's really amazing. So we're going to learn all of this together. Um, so here's the thing. What I was saying is that, oh, that's awesome. Okay. So here's the thing. I, I, I normally turn off this chat because I get very sidetracked. I'm like a squirrel. So I'm like all over the place if I read this. Um, but I love interaction. So I love seeing your guys' faces. So thank you for those of you who have your camera on. I love seeing your faces. So I'm not just talking to a black screen, you know. And so um, it's so great to see your guys' beautiful faces. And there is a little chat button down below, whether you're on your phone or your computer. And that's an area where I um, will see little, you know, questions pop up and stuff. So you can ask questions in there comments, something that's, you know, working for you, put it in there. Okay. Um, we are one team. And so if you have something that's working for you, if you have a concern or something that you're struggling with, let's put it down below so we can all work together and figure that out. Um, and I have a couple other leaders on here too, that, you know, sometimes they'll chime in, but I'm excited because these things are just going to help make your business easier. So, um, raise your hand or comment in the little chat, um, comment below, you know, if there's something you're struggling with or ask a question, there is 43 people on here. So everyone should have at least one question, or if you don't have a question, comment below what you feel like your weakness is or what you're struggling with and so that we can tackle that this month. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll look, I'll look at them in just a little bit. Okay, and I think Jennifer and Rachel and some of my other doubles and Mallory's on here, Diamonds, um, can always help answer in the chats as well. So, okay, we are going to start with posting, okay? So, here's the thing. It's super cool because Facebook and Instagram, whether you do, you know, whatever platform you use, um, we do the same type of posting. And the other thing that comes along with the posting is the story. So we're going to kind of, kind of talk about both of them and how both are just so powerful. Okay. So my thing is, is posting. We are working on our business through social media, right? So the really cool thing is that we can reach so many people all at once and it just makes it easy, fast. And it's just, it's amazing. And we can do it all for, all for, for free, right, on social media. So posting is you letting your network know that you are open for business, okay? You are open for business and you have amazing things that you are going to offer. So here are some of my tips, okay? Number one, um, you don't wanna post, I'm gonna do some do's and some don'ts, okay? So, so do's. You wanna post at least three to six times a day, every day, okay? So that's a do. So post. And so if you guys have your pad of paper, make sure you're writing these down. Okay. I see some ant with babies and <laughs> all that good stuff. But if you guys can just write notes, it, uh, it's always so helpful. You retain 50% more information when you write things down. Okay. Um, so do's. You want to post at least three to six times a day. Again, you are letting people know that you're open for business. So my rule of thumb is morning, lunch, and dinner and then sneak a couple in between. Now, here's another do. Post about you, okay? Post about, pick five things that you absolutely are so passionate about, whether it's working out or your faith. Like I am a boy mom, so I post about my boys. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a dental hygienist. I love, um, I love sweets. I love working out. I love health. 
And so I love books. I love motivation and inspiration. Um, I post about morning things all the time because I'm a morning person and I give tips about how to wake up and be refreshed and all that stuff. So those five things that I am so passionate about, that is what brands me, okay? That is my brand. So people, they know when they have followed me for a while that I wake up at five o'clock in the morning, that I love books and inspiration, that I have two boys, that I love working out, um, all that kind of stuff because they followed me for a while, right? I branded myself for that. And so pick five things. What, what are you so passionate about? What do you want? to inspire people by, right? There are so many other people that are boy moms. There are so many twin moms. There are so many people who are work at, you know, work from home, but also have a, you know, a, a job away from home. So post about things that you love and that you're passionate about that you could relate to other people. And what you're going to do is then you're going to trickle in, you're going to sprinkle in your it works business. Okay. So for instance, in the morning, I might post about how I'm snuggling with my little ones, how I, you know, am so thankful that we don't have to rush off to work, that I get to snuggle with my little ones, and I'm so thankful to start my day off that way. For one, I don't mention anything about my it works, okay? I don't mention anything about what I do. What I mention about is the time that I have with my little ones and how I'm so blessed that I get to do that because Four years ago, I had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning just to leave my house at 5.30 to go to work and not have that time with my little ones. So then people are like, oh, well, what does Amanda do? So one, I don't post about anything about this business. I post about my life and I sprinkle in my business with it, okay? What that's gonna do is it's gonna bring curiosity to people. It's gonna say, oh, what does Amanda do? How I wanna spend time with my little ones. I don't wanna wake up at five o'clock in the morning and have to rush off to work. Like, I'm gonna reach out to Amanda and see what she does. Or she's, they're gonna keep following me and keep seeing my posts over and over. And then they're gonna be like, okay, I have to ask her what she does. So that's kind of how you wanna do it. We don't want to be salesy, okay? So a don't, write this down. No salesy, no in your face, it works all about black, green, and bling, right? We want it to be about us branding ourselves and then we trickle in it works, okay? Half the time, you guys, I will hold a cup and I'll just say, ah, I'm, you know, I have so much energy from my weight loss coffee or my skinny coffee is literally my life right now. I don't say anything about it works. I don't say anything about um, my keto coffee or come by it. I don't know. It's just, I talk about what I love about it, how it's making me feel, and that I love drinking it for my breakfast. And people are like, hey, I want to know what your skinny coffee is, okay? So post about your life, post about the products that you're wanting to try or use, and your results, okay? Post about, post your before and after pictures and say, I'm so excited. I have been trying three um, amazing products. Who wants to know my secret products? I've been trying to lose these 10 pounds I just did. People, do you know how people are going to go so crazy? They're going to be like, oh my gosh, like tell me what your free products you're using. Um, and so it's just a great way, you guys. And so here's the thing. We don't want, and when we're new, it's this is so foreign to us, right? And sometimes we get really nervous about posting because we're like, well, I don't want to be annoying or I don't want to, um, you know, make people mad or anything like that. Here's the thing that I just heard last weekend okay or yeah last week and Chelsea heard it too I see her on here right now you guys we're not in high school anymore right we're not in high school who cares what people think about us okay who cares what people think about us because if we care about what other people are thinking about us then guess what you're not going to be successful with this because your fears are holding you back so who cares about what what people are thinking about you they are not paying your bills okay I will tell you if you post and you do the other steps that we recommend each day to do, that's what's going to pay your bills. This business is going to pay your bills. Other people's opinions are not going to pay your bills. So if we learn how to post in that attractive marketing kind of way, one, you're going to inspire people. Two, you're going to want people to come to your page. Okay. If you're a funny person, post something funny. So people can go to your page and be like, 
Wow. Sandra is super funny. Like I'm going to go to her page cause I need a good laugh. Okay. Post about things like that. Um, and then just trickle in your, it works. So when I say post three to six times a day, it does not need to be all about it works. Maybe post one, one or two products a day and then post about that you're using or that you want to try and then post about your life. What are you doing? What do you want to do? If you want to go to Hawaii, take a picture of Hawaii, right? Get a, go to Pinterest and Google Hawaii photos. Get a beautiful picture of Hawaii and say, this is going on my dream board and I'm so thankful that my social media business is going to pay for this. People are going to be like, holy cow, Brittany, what are you doing on social media that's giving you money? You know what I mean? It creates that curiosity. Um, so that's my tip. Here's a don't, okay? Try not to share videos or funny photos or um, a bunch of those like ads. You know what I mean? Like, hey, share this and you can get entered into this drawing or hey, here's a funny video of this cat chasing another cat or whatever. Try not to share those even though they're so funny to us and they really are so funny. Um, one, it's messing up your algorithm. Two, it's making your Facebook page very you know, congested. Um, and so it's going to make it when you do want people to see your awesome business post that you just made, they're not going to see it because you've posted so many of those shares that Facebook is saying, Hey, you know what, Tiffany, you can't, I'm not putting my post out for you or you're not, I'm not going to push your post out because you have already shared so much. So I would recommend not sharing those. Um, just remember you guys, this is a business. Okay. If we treat it like a business and if we are serious about our business, guess what? Other people are gonna take our business serious as well. If we treat it like a hobby, we're gonna get paid like it's a hobby. We're gonna get paid maybe a hundred bucks a month, which is fine if that's what somebody wants. Maybe get some free products here and there, but we're gonna get paid like it's a hobby. It won't, it won't be a business. So we wanna treat this like a business. And the really cool thing is you guys, is your social media is your business your Facebook page is now your business so we want it to look so professional we want it to look you know absolutely stunning when somebody goes on there and they're like wow Sally has she you know she has you know some awesome pictures or you know this is very inspiring or I'm gonna follow this because I want to see what kind of coffee she's drinking you know so we want people to come to our page and really be inspired and be motivated and um, really question what 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 it is that we're doing and why we're having so much fun and um, so those are my tips on posting you guys um, does anybody have any questions or anything to add um, be a product of the product you guys post your before and after pictures post about how you love the, the the products there's a huge difference with posting something like oh you know here's the collagen and this is what it does it does this this and this versus oh my gosh like i am drinking my skincare in my you know i'm drinking my skincare right now it has helped my skin it's helped my hair it is so good it has five strains of collagen you know that is so much different than just posting Here's a collagen, this is what it does, versus I use the collagen. I love the collagen, this is what it has done for me, right? There's a big difference in that. So really use the products and be a product of the product because that is what is going to, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna sell. That's what people are going to buy into you before they buy into our products, before they buy into our business, okay? They will buy into you first. So how are you representing your business? How are you branding yourself? How are you, you know, how are you sharing yourself? Um, okay, so that's my biggest thing. I'm not into Facebook groups, you guys, as far as making your own group. I'm not into face the business pages because those don't work. You have to pay for those. So why not use a platform that has already been established and grow your business that way? I have, in my five years, you guys, I have never done any other one and I have grown a very successful business. The groups I just don't like. People do not like to be added to groups. So I recommend you know, not doing those. It's definitely a waste of time. And then also business pages. They just don't work unless you have, unless you had a business page like 10 years ago and you have thousands and thousands of people on them, they just don't work.
Um, okay. If anybody has a question about posting or any other tips, you guys speak up. You guys can unmute your phones. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep going to the next section. And I know we have some new people on here. So does any newbies have any questions? You guys want to say anything or some of your fears of posting, anything like that? Because I know it can be fearful. I know you, we, you know, it can be like, well, now all of a sudden I'm posting about this business, you know? So anybody have any questions or anything you guys want to add? Yeah, I love that, Valerie. She said, I can't tell you how many people have bought my products because they trust me. And these were once strangers. I haven't personally known a loyal customer in nine months. Absolutely. And I'll say the same, you guys, I've been in this for five years. I don't know any of my, my customers now. They're all new and they buy into you. They buy into how you're representing this, your business. They're buying into how you're branding yourself. Um, Okay, so we're just going to jump in if nobody has any other things. Here's another tip, you guys. If you are a part of a group, like if you're a part of like a health group or a mom's group or, a, you know, a dog group or a, I'm a part of a lot of dental hygienist group, if you're a part of any of those groups, post in there, you guys. You don't have to post about your business or about the products. Post in there and start building relationships. It's a great way to build relationships. Um, Okay, let's see. Like follows. Okay, I'm gonna go on to growing your network, okay? So those of you guys who are new and maybe you don't know this even if you've been with us for a while, we have in our team page, it's called Diamond Dream Squad. In our team page, you guys, every single day, you will be given a list of things that you can do for your business that day that's gonna make your business successful. Okay, we call it the core four and more, and several different leaders in our on you know this team will post in there each day, and it's just a list. And I'm going to show you what it looks like so you guys can see in just a minute. I'm going to switch the screen, but it's a great way to grow your list. Okay, so we're kind of talking about each of these core four and more things that we want to do. So number one was posting. Number two, you guys, it's going to be growing your network. Okay, so. Here's the thing, somebody can come in, so we have uh, person A, Sally, person B, Crystal, okay? Sally comes in this business and she has a huge network. She has 5,000 friends on her Facebook, she has tons and tons of people, and she comes in and she just does amazing. All of her people are getting her products, joining her business, she's grown her business very fast, okay? Then there's Crystal, who has 200 friends on her Facebook, she does not have a huge network. She maybe got a couple customers from those 200 people, but she needs to grow her network, okay? So right away, Crystal is gonna need to grow her network, okay, right away, just because she didn't come into this business with a very big network. Sally over here has grown, used her warm market already, okay? But after that warm market, guess what Sally's gonna have to do? She's now gonna have to grow her network. So it doesn't matter if you come into this business with tons of friends or very little friends, it does not matter. At some point in your business, you are going to need to grow your network, okay? It does not matter when, but at some point. And so no matter if Sally has 5,000 friends and Crystal has 200 friends, guess what? I'm gonna give them both the same advice. Start growing your network on day one, okay? So no matter how many friends you have, continue to start growing your network because eventually you are gonna run out of that warm market and you're gonna wanna have that you know network coming in as your warm market kind of starts to go away. So growing your network, okay? This is gonna be really, really important. So here's the thing. Sally over here has 5,000 friends. Crystal has 200 friends. When Sally makes a post, who do you think is gonna have more reactions? Sally, right? Because she has so many friends versus Crystal has 200. So you definitely want to grow your network. Um, so if you have anything less than 2,000 friends on your Facebook, you want to make sure that you're growing your network as fast as possible. So I'm going to give you guys a few ways to grow your network, okay? So number one, you can grow your network by going into a friends. So go to one of your friends, and I would pick very carefully what friend you choose, okay? 
So I like, like what I did when I first started, I would go to like my friend James, he owned a workout studio. Okay. So he had a bunch of personal training clients. I went to his page cause he had tons and tons of women on his page who wanted to lose weight, who loved to work out. So I thought, you know what? I'm adding every single person that he has. And I literally did. I went onto his friends list and I added all the females on his friends list. And then what I would do is say Tiffany, I just added Tiffany from his friend, okay? I would go to Tiffany's page, I would go to her friend list, and I would add all of her friends to my friend list. Maybe not all of them, but I would add a lot of them. Then I might take somebody from there and start adding that way. You guys can literally add so many people in such a short amount of time, okay? So it's very easy to grow your network. So that's one way you can do it. The other way is you can search different locations, okay? I wanted to grow a network in Texas. And so I became a part of a Texas group. And so what I did, I just searched Texas. I think I, I searched like Texas moms group or Texas dental hygienist, something like that. I didn't care about the, the you know, the Texas groups. I'm in Arizona. So, but what I did was then I would post in there, here and there, try to build up relationships. But I would go to the members, okay? And then I would, what I do? I would start adding some of their members slowly to my, my, my Facebook, my network. Then I would, you know, tech, get one of those and I would start adding her friends to my network. So now all of a sudden, I have a pretty big team here in Texas, right? A lot of my customers are in Texas. Same with Seattle, okay? So pick different areas. It is so fun to get other areas, especially, you know, all over we're globally so you could literally grow a, a network in Canada or in Europe or you know now we're open in Japan like you know all over the place and so um, you can really have fun with it um, and I don't know why I chose Texas I think I just I don't know I was just like oh I'm gonna just choose pick a state you know and so I did um, so I'm not quite sure why but um, but I have a lot of people from Texas um, and so it's just fun. You guys really have fun with this business. And, um, so that's a way, one of my favorite ways you guys, and a lot of you guys already use, utilize this tool. It's called host to post. Okay. Now that is a way you can grow your business and grow your potentials list like this. Okay. You kill two birds with one stone. So not only are you growing your potentials list, but you're also growing your network with host to post. So I, because I've grown my network at 5,000 people already, um, I just now grow my network with host to post. That's kind of how I've done that. Um, but if you are less than 2,000 friends, make sure you're doing both. Make sure you're going to different states. Make sure you're going you know, to different places and really growing your network. Um, and here's the thing. If you see somebody on your Facebook page that you just added and you're like, ah, oh, they're not really my cup of tea or they, you know, we have nothing in common, just delete them, right? Or if they're rude, just delete them. If they're negative, delete them. Like I literally, the other day on my Instagram, I had somebody who was literally like, like naked doing stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? Who did I just follow? Who did I just add? So it's not a big deal. I just deleted them. You know what I mean? So Facebook is a little bit different. You can kind of see a little bit more versus Instagram, but, um, okay. Trying to go in through these comments too. Um, okay. So I, so growing your network, you guys host a post friends of friends. Here's my don't for growing your network. Okay. Don't add people who, um, are on your suggested friend list. Okay. Don't add people from your suggested friend list. Um, because it's going to be like, if I'm one of your friends, and my friends are going to go onto your suggested friend list. Okay. Or if like you're friends with several different, it works people on our team, their friends are what's going to be in your suggested friends list. And so we don't want to have all the same friends. We want to have different friends. And so make sure that we're not using that suggested friend list, even though it's easy and it's like always like right there, try not to use that. Cause, um, you don't want to grow your network that way. Um, I go through all my friends. They suggest and only add, the ones that have a few friends in common with my daughter or her friends. So yeah, so again, I, would, I wouldn't suggest to do that um, just because again, it could be a lot of like other people that you know, you're friends with, you're gonna start running into the same network. And so I would search otherwise. Um, 
Okay, so trying to go through here really quick. Does anybody else have anything to add to this or um, any other suggestions, anything that's working really good for you? Um, I have one thing, something that uh, Sarah taught me when, uh, when I first joined up is going into these groups and I, I think you might have already talked about it, but going into groups, you know, making a post and then just adding everybody that comments, you know, just add everybody you can. And I absolutely love that. I've actually gotten a lot of friends that way. Yes. I'm so glad that you added that. That is a really good way. And so, yeah, be a, come a part of groups that, again, what are you passionate about? What do you love? Become a part of those groups. I'm a part of a boxer group because I have a boxer. And so same thing. Yeah. You make a post put a picture of your dog in that group. You're going to have tons of people comment and like, add those people to your network. Um, and again, you guys, you guys can always delete people. Okay. That's the thing. You can always delete people. Um, okay. What did you say about adding groups or whatever from different states? I was putting my kids. Oh, so Brittany, you can just go to different states. So like I went to like Texas or I went to like Orange County, California, or like Newport, because I know Newport have a lot of wealthy people in Newport. So I became mom and mom's groups in there. And then I just add people from my network or just like Andrea just mentioned, make a post in there. Anybody who comments and likes, you know, add them to your network. And then what you could do is send them a message and just say, Hey, Andrea, like we're in this same Newport mom's group. I just wanted to ship, like send you a, a friend request and just say hi because you seem super awesome and I'm looking to make new mom friends. You know, something super simple. Um, okay. When somebody asks who you are, I just say, um, I just say, like if they say like, how do you know me? I just say, I don't think we've met, but you look super familiar and we're part of this group. Or I don't think that we've met, but you look really familiar. Um, you know, we have this person and mutual friends, you know, something like that. And if, you know, the worst that they're going to do is delete you, right? Again, you guys, we are not in high school. I don't care if somebody deletes me or not. This business pays for me to stay home with my children. This business paid for me to pay $85,000 in student loans. I don't care if somebody deletes me. I don't care if somebody says, well, I don't know you, so I'm not going to add you. Okay, that's totally fine. So we really want to make sure that, you know, yes, that's kind of uncomfortable. It's like anytime I get that, I'm like, ugh, you know, but who cares? The, the, what, the worst that's going to happen is one, they're going to say no to you, two, they're going to delete you, right? So it's not a big deal. Remember, they are not paying your bills. This business will pay your bills. Um, yeah, that's perfect, Brittany. Um, Rachel, I like adding from groups. I was wanting to announce host to post winners and host to post potentials. How do I do that? I was wanting to announce host to post winners and host. I'm not sure what you mean, Rachel, about that. Uh, so you can unmute your phone if you, you if you want. Um, okay, let's get into unless uh, Rachel just just um, cut me off if you wanted to say something or you can type it back in here. I don't know what you mean by that last question. Um, okay. So let's get into, I'm going to switch over you guys and I'm going to just go over a few things in our team page. See how much time we have. Okay. So all of you guys are in our team page. All of you guys are familiar with our team page, correct? So let me go over really quick and share this screen. Oh, perfect. I'm already in Facebook. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Okay. Don't look at all my messages down here. Just ignore them. Ignore my messiness. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Come on. Okay. So I'm going to go to our team page really quick and just share with you guys just a few things that I would recommend doing every day. Okay. So every day we want to be we want to make sure that we come to our team page daily. Okay. Cause this is where you're going to get a lot of tips and trainings and you're going to get all kinds of goodness. Okay. So make sure that your notifications are on, um, all, all they should be on all posts. Okay. All posts. Mine wasn't on correctly. Okay. So you want to make sure it's on all posts. I think you can even say it. 
Yeah, I guess it's all posts. Just make sure that notification is on. Um, okay, so a couple of things, okay? So if you come to our team page, you're gonna see announcements, okay? So these are just like, like right now we have a team contest going on, okay? Um, so those are gonna be things that are announced, you know, um, they're highlighted kind of in that area, area just things that are important. Um, if you come up here, you guys, you're going to be able to see, I normally do this from my phone, but um, you're gonna be able to see over on this side, if you're on your phone, it's all on the, it's all on the top, right? So we have an area where it's units, okay? Now this is such an amazing system that we have put into place and it's not completely done. So we're still adding to these units, but just know it takes a lot of time and effort to do these units and so, that's why it hasn't been done yet. But, okay, so if you are new, I want you to go to the units, and you're going to go to day one. And here's the thing, you guys, even if you are not new, you guys, make sure you utilize this until you're, when you have a team come on, when you just, you know, welcome somebody to the team, have them. This is a great tool for you to say, okay, Sally, I, I keep saying Sally because I keep seeing your, your face right there. <laughs> but you just say, okay, Sally, um, I'm gonna send you to, you go click on units, you're gonna start with day one. Now there's day one through day six, okay? You can do all the days at the same time, or you can go at your, your own speed and you can do day one, and then the next day do day two, the next day do day three. You can do them all at once, or you can do them each day. Totally up to you. Um, but it's so cool, because here's a checklist to get started, okay? So you just click on that, and you have a whole checklist to get started with, okay? A whole thing of what to do to start. Then, 11 things I wish I knew as a newbie, okay? Here's 11 things, oops, it's gonna open it up bigger. But there's 11 things that, you know, will go into things that I wish that I knew if, if I, as a newbie to help me be more successful, okay? Um, let's see, I'm gonna go back out of there. So just go down those units, um, add your team to those units. Day two, getting started. Here's tips on what to do on day two, okay? Just join, what's next? Here's a video to watch. Getting plugged in, and so here's a thing, you guys, here's all of different people to follow who's a part of corporate, okay? So just follow the units, and then here's the thing, this is a newbies one. So the cool thing is, is you can have people check them off. So when they're done, all they have to do is click I'm done and it checks it off. So they can literally check off all of the steps that they're on. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to the units. So I just did day, day two. Here's unit two, how to redeem product credit. Okay. So here's what I mean when I'm putting systems into place. So when you have a newbie and say, hey, how do I redeem the product credit? Instead of you repeating yourself multiple times over and over and over again, that's time that you're spending repeating yourself, okay? All you have to do is say, hey, Christy, check out, go to our team page, go to unit number two, and it'll teach you how to redeem your product credit. How simple is that, right? So then they can go and then they can learn. But the thing is what you just did is you just told them where to go to find it. So then when they have a new, a new distributor come in, guess what? Now they know where to find that answer when that distributor asks them, okay? You're creating that layered leadership. You're creating you know, another distributor to know where to find the answers, okay? We don't want as distributors, it does our distributors no good if we literally show them every little thing, because then when they have a distributor, they're not gonna know where to find it, okay? So make sure you, we definitely, you know, we definitely show people where to find these answers. So, okay, um, unit three, what's a qualified leg, okay? Kind of gives you a description of what a qualified leg is. So if somebody's like, hey, Amanda, what is a qualified leg? Like, I'm confused about this. All you have to do, Hey, Christy, go to unit three and it will explain it right in there. Personal development. You know, if I have somebody struggling and they're like, you know, they're in, they're in like a, a little slump or they're, you know, having a hard time staying motivated or whatever, 
hey, Christy, check out unit four and go into self-development, personal development. There are so many different ways that you can learn, um, you know, personal development. Here's a few books that I recommend and all kinds of stuff. There's some, even some videos I think in here. Um, maybe not in here. We should put some in there for sure. I'm going to make a note for that. Remember, like I said, that the units aren't quite done. Um, okay. So then you guys get what I'm saying. Like the units is such an amazing system. It has so much good information, posting, post to post. Hey, Christy, I'm going to teach you about post to post. What I want you to do is to click on unit six and in our units page. And I want you to study the host to post. When you're done with that unit, let me know. And we're going to start tackling it together. Okay. How simple is that? Okay. You are showing your new distributor and they know now to show their new distributor, hey, click on unit stick. That's where you're going to find the, the information on host to post. So those of you guys who are new, and we just talked about host to post as growing your network and your potential list. Now you know where to study what a host to post is, right? It's in unit six. Um, posting, okay? Tips on posting, how to make posts. Um, and there's even examples of posts, okay? There's like tons, like hundreds of, of posts in there that you can use, okay? Um, sample posts, business. So there's different product posts that uh, Jennifer made those, business opportunity posts, all kinds of good stuff, you guys. Um, amazing videos to watch. Click on that, you guys. There's like a hundred, over 100 videos in there that you can watch, okay? So here's the thing, you guys. It's a system put into place that is so amazing that's not only going to make it easy for you to learn this business, but now it's an easy system for you to teach your team how to use it, okay? Or where to find answers. Um, okay, let's go back to our, our regular page in the Diamond Dream Squad. I wanted to show you guys, so we have a boom contest going on, but I wanted to show you guys our poll, okay? This is what it looks like every day. Today, Jennifer had hers, and it just, if you don't know, if you can't find it, just do in the search little engine, this right here, the search group, just do hashtag core four and more, and this will pop up. But the cool thing is, is look at, you can check mark when you're done. So today I, I did the happy birthday, so I just check marked it. So I was done with it. I posted to my story, done. Go over charts, done. These polls, you guys, if you do them every day, this is all you have to do for your business, right? This is, this is literally the task that you need to do for your business each day. This alone should only take you about an hour to do. It should not take you any more than an hour. Um, and of course, when you're going for a promotion, it's going to be longer, but I wanted to show you guys that, um, you guys, there's photos and albums. If you go to albums, you guys look at this, there are tons of pictures in here, sample stories, product credit, how to use your product credit, collagen. Um, there's before and afters, all kinds of stuff. If you have to go to the other page to see the other ones. Um, work from home pictures, greens pictures, skincare. So utilize these photos, you guys. But here's the other thing. If you have a really cool photo, you can add that to the album. So it can also be your way of organizing things um, for yourself as well. So that you're like, hey, I want to make sure that I have, you know, when people ask me for before and after, after pictures, this is a great place where I can go to for that organization. Um, okay. And then the last thing is files, you guys. There's all kinds of great information in here in the files, okay? So again, our team page, you guys, it is just an amazing system that we have put into place. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to stop the screen share. Oh, there we go. It's such an amazing tool that we have to put into place that's really going to help make your business just that much easier. So there should never be a time where you're like, well, I just don't know what to do because there's always going to be an answer to find it, right? Either our team page, your upline, your sponsor, uh, YouTube, there's always an answer. The thing is, is that we have to take ownership. This is our business. If we want to be successful in it, it's going to be up to us. It's not up to our upline. It's not up to this team. It's not up to our downline. It's literally up to you. If you want to be successful, if you want to climb the ranks, it is 100% going to be up to you. So you got to make sure that you know where and how to find the answers. Okay, you guys? Um, okay. 
see if I missed anything. Um, where are the recorded Zoom videos? They're on my YouTube, you guys. Sometimes I will put them on my Facebook page, but they're, or I mean, on our, um, on our team page under the video threads where that unit was. But a lot of times they're under the, um, they're underneath my YouTube, which is just Amanda Busher. How do I find richer friends? <laughs> well, they're out there. <laughs> um, yeah, if you feel like there's been a couple times I've like grown a network and it's like just like people that, you know, don't want to have anything to do with this business or the products. And I'm like, oh, what did I just do? But again, it's really easy to delete people and find other people. Um, so <laughs> that, that's funny. Okay, let's move on. Anybody have questions about the units? Okay, systems to stay organized, you guys. Get a planner, okay? And then also get a notebook, okay? Because you want to have notes, you want to have a journal, a planner, you know, things to write in. You want to make sure that you're staying organized. So I'm going to go over really quickly the Connect app, okay? And this is, like I said, I'm learning this with you guys. 100%, this is so new to me. And I have my system, where did my notes go? Okay, I have a system that has worked for me and has gotten me to where I'm at, okay? And it works. And so for me, it's very hard to change up or add anything when I, when I know my system works. But the company has come up with this amazing, amazing tool to make it even easier. So I am not being stubborn anymore because this is going to change our business, you guys. This is going to make our business so much easier, okay? And I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do it, okay? So First thing first, you want to make sure that you download the, if you guys can see this, the It Works Office app, okay? Does everyone have that app? How you find it is just go into your little store, type It Works Office, and it'll pop right up. Your Connect app is in that app, okay? So when I click on that, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, when I click on that, this is gonna come up, okay? You just wanna make sure your notifications are allowed and then just close it out. Okay, and then the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt you, you're gonna sign in. I'm already signed in, so you're gonna put your distributor ID number in and then you're gonna put your password into your eSuite account, the same one, the same information, okay? Um, do you guys see these three little things down here? The Connect app, you guys, is the two little like bubble thingies, the two little like, I don't know, what are those called? Bubble things. So <laughs> you're gonna, they're like little conversation starters, right? Uh, you're gonna click on that, those two little bubbles, and then this, it's gonna open my Connect app. Okay, so it opens your Connect app. I've already done this, but the first thing it's gonna do, you guys, is you, it's gonna ask you, um, let's see. Okay, 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 so the first thing it does is it's, it's gonna ask you to import your contacts. Okay, so go ahead and import your contacts because what it's gonna do is it's gonna import all of your contacts and the thing is, is if you already have distributors and customers, it's gonna already import all those in there, which is so awesome, okay? The other thing is, is you can add people in there. So this little person down here, I can add contacts, okay? So I can add my contacts to it, which is super cool. Um, okay, the next thing, so it's gonna prompt you to import your contacts. The second thing, you guys, is it's going to ask you your goals. And I love this because it's gonna ask you your why. Why are you doing this business? So every time I go into my thing, I can see my why. And my why I put pay off the rest of my student loans, invest for the future, give back, have six months worth of monthly savings, um, living in savings, finish my backyard and pay off our house. Those, that's my why, that's what I, you know, that's, that's my goals right now, or that's my goal. Um, so every time I go into my Connect app, it's gonna show me my goal. So I'm seeing it every day, 
Okay. I'm remembering, okay. Yeah. I'm having a rough day today, but when I go into my app, I'm like, that's why I'm doing this. You know what I mean? So, um, and then it's going to ask you guys, um, pick your income goal. Oh, I love this one. So it picks your income goal and it will tell you based upon the income goal that you want. So say you want to make $5,000 a month. It will tell you how many contacts, new contacts you need to do each day in order to get that goal. Isn't that cool? So if you want 5,000, it's going to tell you, I'm trying to think if I can edit it. Okay. Yeah, I can. So if I want to increase my monthly, set your income goal. If I want to, okay. So say I want 10, say I want 5,000 a month. You guys see that? It tells me I have to have 33 new contacts every day. So 30, I need to reach out to 33 and I need to have 33 new potentials every day. And that's going to give me my goal of $5,000 a month. Okay. Isn't that so cool? Um, so there's that. Okay. Let me see what else there is. Um, okay. Let me go down my notes. So pick your income. Next screen is your contact home. So here's the thing you can put, um, this little verb, you can click like this box and that's how you, you can put like messages in. So you can say like, you can say like, uh, like scripts. Okay. That you can just easily go and message people. Um, I'm trying to think of the three little heads is where you add people and you can send emails that way. Okay. So here's the really cool thing. You guys can add your potential. So your distributors and your customers are already in this app. Okay. And I'm going to post several videos, um, to explain and just, just so you can watch. Um, so this can go into even more details, but I'm just going over like the basics with you guys right now. Um, so out, how to add potentials from your Facebook page. You can add potentials from your Facebook page as well as host to post potentials. It's so cool. So you can literally, this is a way that you can organize all of your host to post potentials. Okay. Um, okay. So what you do is you have to go into your Facebook messenger. Okay. So you just go to your Facebook messenger and then you click on people. See this down here, these little people click on that. And then you click on all people up here, all people. Okay. And then what you can do is see on the side right here, it says a through Z. I'm going to click on a and it gives me all of the people that I have for a. Okay. So then I'm going to message them and I'm going to say this person that I just clicked on. Um, she was interested in the, the coffee. Okay. So I'm going to send her a message really quick and I'm just going to say, Hey, I just wanted to touch base and see how you're doing. Are you still interested in the weight loss coffee? Okay. Now what I can do, um, let's see, go through each letter. Once people respond to the message, um, you can add them to the connect app. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I see her name up here, Tierra. Okay. So I'm going to go back into my app. Where is it? I'm going to go back into my app. I'm going to click on the little, the three little guys. And let's see. I'm going to click on, oops. new contact. So you click on the little plus and then you click new contact and then I'm going to put her name in here. Okay. And then what I do. So, so it has all this stuff. So this is like, so let me go back really quick just to explain it. So you click on this three, the little plus sign. Okay. And then go to new contact. And then I'm going to put her name in there. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste her name. If I can. Okay, there we go. So then when I go to her, I'm going to copy, put her name in here.
So this does take a little bit of time, but once you guys have them in, now you have a whole way of getting people in there and sending them out messages like this, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add profile, see where it says add profile right here? Okay, and see where it says Facebook? I'm gonna go to her Facebook. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on this. So I go to her Facebook and I'm gonna click on more, this little circle here, more, and I'm gonna copy profile link, okay? So I copied her profile link. Now I'm gonna go back into my Connect app and let's see where it says Facebook right there. I'm gonna put her profile link, okay? And then what I can do is I'm gonna go to groups down here and I'm gonna add her to, let's see. So I don't have the group yet, um, but I'm gonna add her to my potentials list from Facebook. So Facebook potentials, okay? That's what I would, I would call it. So I'm gonna add her to that. Right now I'm just gonna put her as, um, okay, I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't have one for, made for that. So that's what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna save that. So then what I, all I do, so say now I have a group and they're all Facebook potentials for the coffee or they're all Facebook potentials. Now all I have to do, you guys, say I have 20 in there, okay? Now all I have to do is I just go to this little guy, okay, th this thing, and then I go to my groups, and then I would go to Facebook potentials, and all of my people are in there. Do you see how awesome that is? So see how fast and easy you can follow up with them? I could literally, for all of my distributors right now, I can do this, and I can send them all a message, all thousands of my distributors, all a message at once. Okay, so just think when you have a potential um, distributor on Facebook or a potential customer on Facebook, and we have a, a sell going on right now, say our $20 codes. Say you have 100 potential distributors in there. You can send them all the same message. Hey, I know that we talked about, you know, making some extra money and it was hard for you to come up with the $99. I just want to let you know that I have a couple codes left and I can help you get onto my team for only $20. Are you interested in this? You could literally send them that same paragraph to all of those hundred people and it goes to them individually all at the same time. Isn't that like mind blowing? Like I'm like so excited about this and I know I'm a little bit like rusty about sharing this with you guys, but this is literally going to change our business um, just to make it so fast and easy. Um, once they are a loyal customer distributor, can you move them from that group? Yes. So you can, you can definitely move them from that group. So all you would do is you would just go back to their profile. So say I have a, this girl right here. So Ashley, she's one of my customers. All I have to do is click on groups and I could click to see what group I wanted to put her in. Yeah, so if she was a customer and it became a distributor, then I would just click her and put her on my distributor part, okay? Add them to our team. So the thing is, you guys, if you have distributors underneath you, they're already, when you, when you sync up your contacts, your eSuite contacts already go in there. So your distributors are already in there. So cool, huh? Um, okay, and you can delete people. Like if they're not working this business anymore, you can delete them. And those people who aren't working the business anymore, guess what? You can make them a new group and you can say um, like non-working distributors or whatever. And then you can always send them a, a mass message, you know, here and there and just say like maybe once a year and just say, hey, I know that you used to work this business and, you know, it may not, may not have been the right timing, but, you know, I think that you're just so awesome. Have you ever thought about, you know, getting back into it, right? Like um, you never know. Timing is everything in this business. So, y'all, I'm super excited about this. I'm just super, super pumped about this. So, here's the other thing, okay? And I'm just, this is gonna blow your eyes' mind even more. Am I losing you guys? Or, because when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I am mind blown on steroids right now because <laughs> this is so crazy. But, okay, you can add your host to post in here. So, it's an amazing way to contact your host to post, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how. So, what you do, is I'm actually gonna go back into this little guy, okay? And I'm gonna go to groups, and see this little plus right here? I'm gonna click on that, and I am going to, let me do this, sorry. I don't know why I want, 
There. Am I bigger? Can I, can you guys see me better? Can you guys see me okay? Okay. So I'm going to go to the little plus and then I'm going to create a group name. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put December post a post. Okay. And then I'm going to save it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my Facebook page. And I'm going to go to Let's see. I'm gonna go to one of my host to post from today. Let me just find one. Okay. So this person hosts a post for me today. Let me see if I can make it so it's not so bright. Okay, so this, that didn't work. Sorry, I don't know why it's so bright. Let me make, maybe this screen needs to go down. Okay, so anyways, I am i don't know how to make it so you guys can see my screen very well, but this person just hosted a post for me, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to her profile, okay? And again, I'm gonna copy her, I'm gonna go to this little dot thing, this little circle thing, you guys, okay? And I'm gonna copy her profile link, okay? So now, and her name is Rachel. And so I'm gonna go back into my office, my ItWorks office. If anybody has a tip on how I can make this so that you guys can see it, just let me know. Um, because you guys can't see it very well. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into, back into there, okay? And I'm gonna go to this little person, these little three people, and I'm gonna go to the plus, and I'm gonna go to new contact, and I'm gonna put her name in, Rachel. Rachel, and then, S-E-V, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add profile. See where it says add profile, click on there, click on the face, see where it says Facebook. I'm gonna copy her link into there, okay? Now I'm going to go to groups, okay, and I'm gonna put December host to post. Now she's a part of that group, okay? So now here's the thing. If I wanna send all of my host to post messages a follow-up and just say, hey, I just wanted to thank you so much for making that, host, that, that post for me. I don't know if you're interested, but I think you'd be so amazing at this business, I do. Are you interested in making some extra money? I could literally send all of my host to post that same message, okay? Um, okay, hold on, Jennifer, I'll help you in just a minute. Um, if you have an Android, you guys, you should have the person I think, is it the people that don't look like that, Jennifer? Um, okay, answer that back while I continue. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, if I wanna send out a message to all of my host to posts, okay? Here's a really cool thing. Okay, I'm gonna go to this little box and I'm gonna click on two and then I'm gonna click on my groups and I'm gonna click on December host to post. Oops, that person must not have got saved. Hold on one second. Hmm, that December host supposed to not get saved. Okay, let me try to save her one more time.
Okay, perfect. I did it. Okay, so I'm going to go to this little guy. And then I'm going to go to two. I'm going to go to groups because I'm sending them a message, okay? And then I'm going to click on December host to post, add, and it brings up Rachel, okay? It brings up all of your December host to post. I only have Rachel in there now. Um, and I'm going to say in the subject, I'm going to say thank you, okay? And then I'm gonna write my little message. Hey, thank you so much for sending that post out today, period. I appreciate you so much, smiley face. Would you be interested in hearing about what I do and how I make another income from my phone? Or, or I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna say, would you be interested in hearing about what I do and how I make money from my phone. I make money from my phone. So this is gonna be a trial, I haven't done this one yet, okay? So, I haven't sent anything from here. Okay, so see where it says name? If I click that, it's gonna put her name in there. So, I actually want it to put, hey, and then I click name, hey, name, where it says name right there, see where it says that? It's gonna put Rachel's name in when I send this to her, okay? So here's the cool thing. I'm gonna push send, and I haven't done this before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna push send. Let me make sure I've done it all right. Hey, thank you for so much for making that post today. Okay, I'm gonna push send, okay? And it says Facebook Messenger contact. I'm gonna click Rachel. It works off as Messenger, wants to open up in Messenger, okay? So it's gonna open up in Messenger. And then that message just got sent to Rachel. Okay, isn't that cool? So you can send messages out from your Connect app to your messenger, okay? So now that message just literally just got sent to her. So um, that is just so cool. So I think that if you have multiple people in there, you can literally just click on the multiple people like in the group and just say, okay, I want this message sent to this person, this person, this person, this person. And then it connects, it connects over to messenger and it sends it through messenger. Okay, now there was a little warning that came up on the Connect app. It said if you send too many messages out at once, it can, it said something like if you send too many messages out on once that it could like, you know, it could give you a warning or something on Facebook or block you. So maybe send, maybe, I haven't played with this, so maybe start out with like 10 or 20. See how that goes. I would maybe start with 10 first and then maybe do 10 you know, in a half an hour or whatever. I'm gonna kind of play with it and see what my limit is and how I, like what the limit is to get blocked. Um, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, but isn't that so cool? So that, here's the thing. This Connect app, once we have it all situated, once we have all of our contacts in there, whether it's host to post or our potential or our customers or our potential distributors, once we take a little bit of time to put that in there, do you see the potential of how many messages you can get out all at once to your follow-ups? Now, this isn't gonna be a way to get new potentials. This is a way to follow up with your current potentials. When we have a sell or a promotion going on, you send that message out to all of your customers, right? All of your potential customers all at once. So people are not getting missed. People are being followed up when their appropriate time is. You can even schedule out times. So if you put in there, you want to follow up with this person in two weeks, you can have it where an alarm goes off and, you, and then you know to follow up with that person in two weeks, okay? So how awesome is that? So it's definitely a tool that we're going to need to learn more about, and we're going to be learning this together. So if you have a tip, if you're like, hey, I just discovered this, post it on our team page, okay? Post it on there because it's literally amazing. Um, I'm gonna post a few videos from Barbara Bowser. She is an ambassador diamond in Canada, and she is like, have this, she has this down solid. So I'm gonna post some videos for that. 
Um, let me go through here. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, after I fill out my why and the amount of income, my goal, the next screen, all I, wait, how? My goal is the next screen I see. So yeah, so today's progress, okay. So after you do all that, uh, Jennifer, Yeah, after you do all that, after you go into your Connect app, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see all your goals and all that stuff, but then you have to go into this little three thing. That, the three little guys, that is like your Connect app. That's where you're gonna import it all. Um, I think Androids have only one guy. I think that's what I read or heard. It automatically sees my contacts. I have a customer group and distributor group, but I don't see where to create new group. Okay, so again, so you're gonna go to this little, um, the little guys. I think on yours, Jennifer, it's only one guy. You're gonna go to, see this plus sign up here? Okay, and then it says, um, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. You go to groups, okay? And that's where it gives you all of your groups. I wish you guys could see my screen better. This is, I don't know how to make that happen though. And then you go to this little plus and that's where you can create a new group. So down here, you can create the new group, okay? Um, does that work, Jennifer? Does that help? I don't have groups, just my contacts. It doesn't show groups in there? Um, if you click on that little guy, it, it does this, is this what yours looks like, Jennifer? Like all your contacts? Does this top hey, say group up here? Do you see that? Hey, Amanda, I posted a screenshot no. of what mine looks like on what the does yours diamond look like? room. I'm curious to know. Um, you'll have to play with it because I have an iPhone, so it might be just different. Does anybody have an Android that knows? Is um, Michelle on here? Because she knows. She's been doing the Connect app. Let me see if she, and I think she has, or no, she has an iPhone. We know she has Android, yeah. Is Michelle on here? I don't think she is. Okay, um, Jennifer, we'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure, uh, just because I have an iPhone, but I thought it would be the same. I would think you'd be the same. So you might just want to play with that a little bit to see if you can find it. Um, but I'll post some videos, and I'm sure there's an answer to it. All right, isn't that so cool, you guys? So I'm just super excited about it. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time putting it in, but if you spend a couple minutes each day putting that all in, like just think how awesome, you know, how fast it is gonna be once those contacts are in. And if you guys are new to this business, all I have to say is you guys have a huge advantage because you guys are coming into this and now all of a sudden you're already starting your business off this way with this Connect app. So it's really awesome. So let's. Um, continue to learn about it and study it and we'll just start applying it and Kiami said they have put multi millions into this app it's not going anywhere it's only gonna enhance our business even more so she's like you guys got to get on the train like you have to literally get on this train of this connect app because it will change your business and making sure we're getting out to potentials and making sure we're following up so no people are left in those cracks um, Okay, anybody have questions before we end? Sorry our Zoom went over a little bit, but I just thought that was just so, just like so amazing. It's just such good information for that Connect app. All right, my friends. Well, thanks for jumping on. Okay, Jen, I'll look at that and then we'll, we'll figure it out, my friend. If anybody else has an Android, also we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, friends, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful Tuesday. All right, bye guys.